So our next stage is to put in this retaining edge because we are obviously having the slight fall that we've measured, but we're not coming right down to grass level down here. Um, so it's important that we put something down that will stop the sub base and the sand from coming away from the slabs that come to this area. Um, so in this case I'm using timber partly because it's not a very big um, drop um, but also because it's a light use area but also you could have a brick edge along here you could have sleepers it could quite happily be four feet high but it would just have to be constructed well enough to retain the ground behind it if you particularly fancy or if it's in a really showy position you can use hardwood like oak or sweet chestnut which doesn't need to be treated and has a beautiful look to it um, but is considerably more expensive. The way that we're going to do this, we made our markers earlier uh, so that we know what level is um, and then we've made a mark that's slightly allowing for the fall and I know what position I want my piece of timber to be in. Um, so I'm going to put a screw in from the back side here. I'll just I'll make it bite to begin with and then get the timber where I'm happy with my marker down over there and then I'll just make sure that the membrane isn't stuck up between the wood just here because it's useful to be able to manoeuvre that as well. So again, checking my position, presenting the screw. You can then let go of the timber at that point. Just get the, just get the screw to bite, present the timber. Now, obviously be careful that you're not putting your hand in the path of a screw going into the timber because if you've misjudged and bought screws a bit too long you might have a nasty surprise so always hand you know hold things nicely away like that so a quick check looking along the line tells me that i'm happy with the position of things so i can put this one in fully like so. Come back and do the same down here. Okay, and so that's gonna work for along this side. I'm not going to put in a retaining edge on that side because the grass level comes pretty much up to where we want to be on all of it apart from just down in that little corner, but I'm, I'm happy with that and I think it's going to be okay. And then obviously along this side we've got the edge created by the path. But if you were doing a patio that came out from the back of your house, you would need to do this all the way around so that you enclose the whole area. Um, and I'm allowing in this instance for the slabs to come adjacent to the wood rather than over the top of it, because it's easier to get them to sit in good position and I don't mind seeing the top of the timber. I prefer to do it that way. So we've done that, we can now get loading the material on top. So when we're shoveling this material in, it might sound strange, but there is a bit of a method to shoveling. Um, for a start, it's really worth using a shovel rather than a spade. Spades are for digging, shovels are for shoveling and spreading material and um, years of making them has, has come up with good designs. Um, this will hurt your back a little bit less but it allows you to get more on the, more on the, the, the shovel because it's scooped. And um, this, this stuff, because it's quite lumpy, can be a bit hard to, to shovel anyway. Now, you may well just be wheelbarrowing it in, in which case, that's fine. We can just come along, tip it on the surface, but you just have to be a bit careful not to ruck up the material that you've laid down. And that's why I quite like to put a bit on manually first. And I can just do it that way. 
and get it in a few corners. And that way, by doing this, it's holding the, the material in position. So if you were having a windy day, for example, we've already got it in position, we don't need to worry about it. So I've now tipped a load on and um, we're going to spread it around and get it level um, and in good position before we sort of compact it down a bit. And then this is where the, um, where the good solid rakes come in handy because whilst we're going to need a bit more on here we can just see where we are with things by distributing it about. And a rake like this allows you to get things quite level quite easily as long as you just watch what you're doing and you gradually work over the surface like this. It doesn't take long for the eye to naturally see where things are right and where they're not quite right. So I've brought in a bit more material. Um, we'll just get that levelled out. But the sun's come out, so time to take the coat off. And we'll just make sure it's into all of the corners. Well, obviously we're bearing in mind we've got to lay sand and slabs on here still, so that's why it looks quite a long way below the surface of the timber there. But that's because the level's yet to come up a bit. So as you can see, it's worth taking a little bit of time just to go round and get it how you want it. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because that's what the sand is for. That's going to give us our level to kind of get the, the slabs on perfectly. And then the last, um, the last operation is to give it some compaction. Now I'm going for quite a gentle touch because I don't mind if it kind of sinks and develops a bit of its own personal contour because we're in an old setting and it will look right. Um, but I really advise that if you're laying a patio to get it nice and firm without any sinkage or movement, at this stage you use um, a proper compaction machine. Um, the simplest is to hire what the trade know as a whacker plate. Um, it's a vibrating plate compactor and you run it over the surface and it vibrates really fast and firms all of this down nicely and it does a really good job um, of, of getting it so solid that there won't be any movement and if you're going to put any kind of vehicle traffic over it you really do need to do that and on a larger scale there are obviously the road roller type of things that you can run along as well um, but for this purpose it's, it's such light use that we're just going to use body weight I'm doing this all over the surface allows us just to compact it down. And I'm happy with that because it'll just get everything sunken nicely for us to lay the sand on.